guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Mega Man fully charged Mega Man action figure. That's right, my friends, if you've been following me on this channel for any time at all, you probably know that I am a longtime fan of Mega Man, and I love Mega Man toys. And now that there's a brand new cartoon series that's been on Cartoon Network called Mega Man Fully Charged, well, we've got a whole new line of action figures based on that cartoon, thanks to Jack Pacific. And the folks over at Jax were kind enough to send along several of these brand new action figures, and I'm excited to dive in and check them out. So as you can see, each figure is going to come on blister card packaging, complete with the logo and the artwork straight out of the new animated series. And the back of that box is going to show off the figure inside, as well as the features. And with Mega Man here, you can see that he's got a cool little action feature where you can swap out his arm cannon, and all of those arm cannons are going to come with various robot masters throughout the line. So I will get into that more as we open up the figure, so let's do that. Let's get them out of the packaging and get a closer look at them. So let's bring in the tape measure here because I want to start with the scale. So you can see that the figure stands just over four inches. He's about four and a half inches tall, shy of a full five inches. Um, and he's a really cool looking figure. So this is based on the new design of the character from the animated series. He obviously still looks like Mega Man. He's still the blue bomber wearing the dark blue and the light blue. He's got the Mega Buster arm cannon over here on the left side. Um, the proportions, he's are, you know, he's got like the thinner legs, the way the proportions are on the body match the animation in the show. So all in all, he's a really great looking little figure here. Uh, let's go ahead and talk the articulation on this because he's got articulation uh, that allows you to move him around a bit, but it's a bit minimal. Let me show you what I mean by that. He is ball jointed at the neck, which is at the base of the neck there. So the head can turn around. I'm sorry, it's actually plugged onto the top of the neck. So the head can rotate all the way around. You can look left, you can look right. Good range of motion there. You have the like, hinge like joints there at the shoulder, so the arms can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. You can swivel the arm cannon, and that is because it's got that interchangeable feature that I will come back to. There is no other articulation on the rest of the arm on the right here, so no elbows or anything like that, likely because they're so skinny, but you can swivel the wrist there, so you can see the hand can also turn side to side. You do not have any articulation in the torso whatsoever, so no waist cut or anything. You've got the same kind of ball-like hinges there at the thighs, so legs can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. Decent range of motion. You've got single joints at the knees, but then nothing else in the feet, and he does have those signature big clunky Mega Man boots on. Um, um, so because the feet don't move individually from that, it's going to hinder your posability just a bit, but all in all, he's pretty good. And I will say the figure feels nice and sturdy. This is obviously a line that is meant for kids to be playing around with. So he feels pretty good and I can get, keep him standing just fine. So he's not too wobbly. The joints are all nice and tight and he feels like a nice solid action figure. So he comes with one accessory in the form of this Mega Buster Blast, which is really cool. Uh, it's just a translucent blue plastic. You can see it's got a little peg there on the end, and that's because it plugs into the Mega Buster arm cannon. Look at that. Uh, it's a little tight, so give it a nice firm press. And now we've got Mega Man using that power. Um, now this is one instance where it does make him a little bit top heavy in some poses. Um, I noticed that it kind of makes him lean forward a little bit, but if you kind of find the right way to articulate the legs, you should still be able to pose him with that Mega Buster Burst kind of coming out of the arm cannon, so that way he can fire at the Robot Master foes. So I keep mentioning the interchangeability, and this is neat because, of course, Mega Man is known for being able to steal his powers from the other Robot Masters, just like in the video games. Uh, and in fact, we've had Mega Man toys in the past. Uh, in fact, this reminds me a lot of the Mega Man figures that were based on the original cartoon series in the 90s that Bandai did, because you had the ability to kind of swap weapons between the Masters and Mega Man. Well, the way it's worked on these new figures is the entire arm cannon comes off, it just slides off of a peg there, and that's because every Robot Master in this line comes with their own unique arm cannon that is specifically for Mega Man to plug onto. And I'm gonna talk about all of those Robot Masters in various videos, but just to show you what I mean, uh, let me go ahead and bring in a good example here. This is the one that comes with Iceman. So it's Iceman's arm cannon, and you can see it just fits right onto Mega Man's arm. It even comes with its own little ice burst there, 
Look at that. So now you've got a an entirely different arm cannon that you can plug onto Mega Man. That is a really neat feature. It's a great way to add the ability to steal the different Robot Master's powers into like a play factor for the toys. I think that's fantastic. So there you guys go. That is a look at the brand new Mega Man fully charged action figure from Jax Pacific. All in all, I feel like he's a solid figure. Um, the overall design being based on the cartoon, I think it's going to be up to your personal taste on if you like the cartoon or like the look of the character from the cartoon series. But one thing I'm going to say is I think it's pretty cool that after all these years, we're still getting brand new Mega Man toys and cartoons to get kids into the property. And the way some of the old school stuff translates into this new style is pretty Pretty awesome so I think it's great seeing new Mega Man toys on store shelves so once again I got to give a very special thanks to Jack's Pacific who provided this figure specifically for this review these are hitting store shelves right now I've seen them on the pegs at stores like Target so happy hunting my friends Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, leave me a comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be checking out all the Robot Masters very soon. Until next time.